If you want to manifest anything easily and effortlessly, there are only two things you need to master. And when you do, babe, the 3D world will no longer hold power over you. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, my name is Kimba Lez. I am a former trauma therapist. Now I am a transformation coach where I get to do what I love, which is help you manifest the best version of you who knows she's a goddess, who gets what she wants and never ever settles again in her love, life or her life. So today we are going to talk about this because this is really important because there's so many videos where they're always saying manifesting is supposed to be easy and effortless and if it's not, you're doing it wrong. And that is not correct. It's a fucking lie. Those people haven't mastered manifesting because if they did, they would be able to break it down and explain to you how do you get there. So this is how you get there because manifesting can be easily and effortlessly, but there's two things you really need to master. And before I dive in, if you want a deep dive, I have my Mirror Effect Transform Your Love Life course below. It is on a very special price right now. I also have my Goddess Daily Blueprint. That is below. That is the routine I personally did for myself to transform my self-concept many years ago, and I've taught thousands to do it, and it fucking works. And they're both on amazing, incredible prices, so everything is below. But these two things to master so that manifesting becomes easy and effortless is the key to getting it all. And when you master these two things, baby, you are unstoppable. So the first one we're going to talk about is believing in your power. So I'm going to really deep dive in though. How do you actually make that happen? Because we all, when we're learning law of assumption, when we're practicing everyone as you pushed out, when we intellectually understand, well, everyone is me pushed out, which is what my mirror effect course is all about. It's not enough to just know of this information, right? When you learn everyone as you pushed out, it lit something up in you where you were like, holy shit, I'm powerful. But then 99% of the time you're doubting and you're not believing that you're powerful. It's not enough to know about the concept. It, what are you doing every day to reinforce that belief? Because I promise you, when you start reinforcing this belief and manifesting in more things over time, you will start to really know and trust in your power. And that is one key concept in how conscious manifesting, how you really become a master manifester, really helps you manifest easily and effortlessly. So how do you get there, right? So I'm over here saying you got to believe you want to be manifesting in and the more you're manifesting in shit that you want, the more you transform 3D circumstances that don't look good, that don't feel good, that actually end up in your favor. When you stop judging the middle, when you start transcending those circumstances from shitty to amazing and incredible, that's how you really, really start to believe in your power. But how do you get there, right? Because there's obviously a piece missing of, yeah, I, that makes sense, Kim, but how do I start manifesting shitty circumstances and turning it into gold regularly and consistently? Self-concept, baby, self-concept. You see, this is the piece that a lot of you don't wanna do the work on because you're still in the old you that feels unloved, that feels unworthy, that feels anxious, that feels powerless, and that feels scared that you're not gonna get your dream life. And you've taught yourself that the way I get uh, myself out of this shitty self-concept of feeling unworthy and unloved is to chase love, is to accept breadcrumbs, is to lower my standards, is to not put myself first, is to always put other people first, other things first, to binge watch a million different uh, manifesting videos, but not actually implement it. And you're not changing, you're not transforming you, which is why nothing's shifting. So when you master self-concept, it lays the foundation to the house, which is your dream dream life that you're building. And each room of your house is an area of your life. So if you have cracks in your foundation of what you truly believe your worth is, especially in your love life in any area of your life, you're, you can't build the stable house. Like it's going to crumble because the, the foundation is cracked, baby. So you have to change your self-concept. Self-concept is key. When you know you're worthy, 
you get you stop reacting to 3D. When you know your worth and value, you don't need confirmation from your 3D. When you understand that I am worthy of having what I want, you trust and know that what you want is coming in, that it's already on its way. It's already done. And without it, the circumstances will always control you. Without good self-concept, you won't truly know your worth and value and you'll constantly be pulled in this direction and pulled in that direction. And this circumstance will take your power and this reaction in the 3D or lack of reaction in the 3D will cause you to believe somehow, some way you're not gonna get what you want. So we have to really shift into mastering self-concept. And as you're mastering self-concept, you'll stop giving up your power to 3D, right? You'll stop needing people to show up and say things and do things in order for you to know and believe something about yourself. And that gets you over the main hump where manifesting gets to be easily and effortlessly. And that also gets you over the hump of really trusting and knowing that any circumstance that shows up, you can maneuver your reality to shift and become something favorable. You will be less inclined to judge the middle. Judging the middle is what trips up every single human being. Judging the middle is when you're allowing the circumstance that is current to tell you that you're not gonna get a favorable outcome rather than knowing your power as the conscious manifester, as someone who's worthy to have what she wants. So if she knows she's worthy to have what she wants, this current circumstances doesn't mean shit. That this current circumstance, even if it's not favorable, doesn't mean that the outcome still won't be favorable. But in order to break the chains of your past beliefs and identities and self-concept, and break the chains of not allowing your current reality to grip you and capture you and take hold of you to falsely have you believe that what you want is not yours. You have to master self-concept. And as you're mastering self-concept, you will transcend those circumstances. You stop judging the middle and it re you really are reinforcing the belief of how easy and effortlessly manifesting is. And over a certain period of time, it's different for everyone, right? That belief will be so reinforced that any circumstance that shows up, you're like, oh no, baby, I got this. And in a blink of an eye, you fucking do. I know, because I live and breathe this every day. My life keeps leveling up. It keeps getting better and better. I keep manifesting in amazing, incredible things. But also, I get to watch other people do it, because I teach thousands of you in my courses, in um, my private uh, coaching group. And it's powerful. So I want you all to get um, to a place where you know that manifesting is easily and effortlessly. But you can't really know that until you one, you know your worth and value of what it is that you desire. And two, you believe in your power of the creator of your reality. So I love you all. If you want to work with me, I mentioned the earlier courses. They are below. I also have my Goddess Ascension Mastermind, where it's a 12-month coaching program. We meet three weeks a month, where we dive in deep into these powerful conscious and subconscious concepts and techniques to master so that manifesting becomes easy and effortlessly for you. Love you all. I'll see you soon.